course, that gets a lot of people asking, is this going to bust us out of the drought? The <laughs> Meteorologist Heather Waldman is here with more on that. Hey there, guys. Yeah, as, as much as we wish we could say, yeah, this will be it. Uh, the honest answer is no. This is certainly going to help with the drought, but it's not going to get us out. It does have another benefit, though, especially when you're looking at fuel moisture. Let's take a look here. What you're looking at is the uh, the number of days with measurable precipitation, rain or snow. The left column is January, February and March all added up together. The right column, well, that's just in April. Most locations in Northern California have had just as many of those days just in the last couple of weeks compared to the first three months of the year. So we're getting consistent precipitation which is always a good thing. You add to that the fact that the overall weather pattern has kept temperatures near or slightly below average. Also a bonus because we're slowing down the evaporation. Both of those factors combine to increase what we call fuel moisture. Those uh, grasses, trees that can uh, well, act as fuel uh, during wildfire season. The latest readings show that well, mo fuel moisture throughout uh, most of Northern California is above average at this point. So some good news there. The Central Valley still coming in slightly below average, but Golston and Lisa wouldn't be surprised to see that go above average with another round of some showers coming through later tonight into early tomorrow.